In a nation built on the principles of democracy, it is time for a change. For far too long, we've used the word excellency indiscriminately to describe or to address our government officials. What if we reserve such titles to those who have genuinely served the people? If you will agree with me, not everyone around the corridors of power have done excellently well. So why call them excellencies? Why don't we withhold such titles till when they are earned? I know why. Psychophancy and hypocrisy would always make us use them liberally. Your Excellency, Your Excellency this, Your Excellency that, Your Excellency, Your Honorable. No, all your horses. What have they done? Have they earned? Have they earned such titles? And the last time I checked, it is not within our constitution. It is not in our constitution that they must be referred to as your excellencies or your honorables. It is just a tradition of the colonizers who gave us this beautiful democracy. So I want to propose the simple idea. Let's reserve such titles until their last day in office. And then after we've evaluated all they've done, if they've genuinely served the people, then we should stretch arms to them and give them a warm handshake and call them your excellency or your honorable. Wouldn't that be more deserving? At least they will grow old and that would be a legacy they would die with. But call them excellencies when they've not done anything excellently. I think the next generation are going to have a hard time knowing what excellent means or what to be or, or, or they will lose the meaning of being honorable. Let's reserve such titles to such a leader who listens to the concerns of the people and acts towards that concern. A leader who promotes inclusivity and unity. A public servant who prioritizes the well-being of their constituents. In a nutshell, the title Excellency should be a reflection of the excellence in public service, not just a title dished out to any, every undeserving people. It is time to hold our government officials accountable. You will hold you accountable. You will do exactly what you said you can. Oh, exactly what you promised in the campaign that you would do. And if you fail, we call you whatever name we want to call you. So let's use the word excellency to those who have earned it. Join us as we call on, on a more meaningful and accountable democracy on this continent called Africa. For the